Howdy y'all, this is K1 Locks. Today I come with you with a lock pin by Bronx Lock Picker 60. This guy is entitled, You looking at me? Yeah, you looking at me? This was made on 522 of 17. So we're gonna put this sucker in here. Here's the bidding for it. It uh, works really good. So let's go ahead and do her down, boys. Do her, do her good. And that's off of five, four, three, So, I've been a minute since I picked a, a BLP 60 lock, which is cool. Uh, this guy makes some beautiful pins, man. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but uh, we're aware. Uh, nice deep fall set now. More, more fall set. And there we go. Sweet. We got her open, folks. We got her open. So let's go ahead and take her out. See what we got. I have to use this sucker. And I'm going to use this guy. Because I like it, kind of. And we're going to zoom in. So you can see a little bit better what I got going on here. Up in here. Up and huh. Very up and huh. All right. Oh, God, I'm a Somali. Oh, boy. Good, good, he caught it, good. So let's see here, uh, uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, everything needs to be picked, and there's some fancy work done to this core. Boy, howdy, I tell you. There's one, uh, I'm just gonna go through at the end of this and, and, uh, tell you all about what the pens look like. <clears throat> because, uh, that's the only way I can do it justice. So... These are all like silver, by the way. Just killer weak sweet. Oh, I missed it. There we go. All right, so we have looks like threading in one, three, and five, and uh, some undercutting maybe in two and uh, four. I don't know. It's like bigger. For some reason I don't know. I don't know. But cool. Go cool, cool, cool. Copper spring. Copper spring. I think that's how that went. Copper spring. Boot the back now. T pan, fancy one of them fancy T pans, and then very last, very last, we got one of them another fancy T pans with a copper spring. Copper spring, y'all. The only thing we got here, we got a double, co co uh, double up spring on number two, so that's cool. And let's go ahead and take a look in here. It doesn't look like. Anything was done to the Bible. Sweet. All right, good. So, this is what we have, folks. We're gonna zoom in super close for you. Uh, okay, 
So we have a this is like a spool, uh, serration with like a mushroom spool. We got a, like a sp smaller spool and a larger spool that goes up into a mushroom. This guy right here is. Uh, let's see what this is. It's like some serrations on it. This guy is like several serrations. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm being finicky here, but this dude takes a lot of time with his pins, and and I want to just show you. So and it's my video, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. There you go. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. No, but seriously, folks. If I'm not doing something you you like. There's a, a spool. I mean, a serrated guy there. You know, tell me. Tell me I'm doing something stupid, or you like what I do, or something, because, you know, nobody's perfect, y'all. Dude, we got three T-pins in a row. Look, T-pin one, two, three. Three T-pins. Man, this is a sucker. All right, so again, this is from the BLP 60. It is entitled, You Looking at Me? This is K1 Lock saying, Be safe, be legal, and be the lock. <laughs>